Welcome to another video. The mission is to find all values of x and y, all pairs of x and y that would satisfy this system of equations. And using my favorite method of solving this kind of problem, guessing. <laughs> so by inspection, you would say, if this is 1, this has to be 0 so that this can be 1. So I can say when x is 1 and y is 0, the first equation is true. And it is also true for the second equation. When this is 1 and this is 0, then this is true. So I already found one solution. x is 1, y is 0. Now what would happen if I switch x and y? What if this is 0 and this is 1? That's going to work too. And it also works in this second equation. So without doing any calculation, just by inspection, remember that this problem is from a team selection test for a mathematics Olympiad. So definitely they don't expect you to just guess and walk away. But by guessing, we already found two sets of solutions. Definitely, if you want to choose an Olympiad team, you won't let them just guess. There's more work to do. Let's get into the video. So what I'm going to do is write out the solutions we've gotten by inspection. Okay? Okay? They are solution pairs. So what else can we do? So the, 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 there's something. It's either you say, okay, these are the only solutions and you show that there are no other solutions or you continue your quest, your quest for finding other solutions. So what I'm going to do is the usual substitution. You're going to take one of the equations and make one equation work for the other one. So from here, the easiest thing to isolate would be x. So from equation one, let's name it. So we say from equation 1, we know that x will be equal to 1 minus y squared. So that if I want to get x squared, I know that x squared will be equal to 1 minus y squared squared, which in this case is going to be 1 minus 2y squared plus y to the fourth. That's what my x squared is going to be. So equation 2 becomes equation 2 becomes x squared. So instead of writing x squared now, I'm going to write this. 1 minus 2y squared plus y to the fourth, that's my x squared, plus y cubed, will be equal to 1. Okay. Now there's 1 here, there's 1 here. The two of them, you can subtract one from both sides, and that way you don't need to deal with this one anymore. So what you have will be y to the fourth plus y cubed minus 2y squared is equal to 0. Well, we can see that y squared is common to all the terms, so we have y squared factored out is going to give us um, y squared plus y minus 2 equals 0. So from here, y squared equals 0, or y squared plus y minus 2 equals 0. From here, we know that y equals 0 twice is a solution. But we already said it by guessing. y equals 0 is a solution. So we don't need to worry about this. OK, we just need to focus on this. So this can be factored. What two numbers will you multiply to get minus 2? But when you add them, you're going to get 1. Well, it's going to be 2 times minus 1, right? So we, this can be factored into y minus 1, y plus 2 equals 0. So that means y equals 1 or y equals negative 2. Do we know when y equals 1 what x is going to be? Yep, we already guessed it. <laughs> x is going to be 0. So this guy and this guy we already know. This is this new stranger we just found. This is one more solution we just generated. 
And what does that mean? We're going to go find what x is. What did we say x was again? x is 1 minus y squared. So we have x equals 1 minus y squared, which implies x equals 1 minus, what is y in this case? Minus 2 squared. So x equals negative 3. Because this will be 1 minus 4, which is minus 3. Is it true that when x is minus 2, when y is minus 2, x is minus 3? Well, let's go check. When x is minus, when y is minus 2, this is going to be 4. x is minus 3. Minus 3 plus 4 is 1. That's true. Let's come here. When this is minus 2, this is going to be minus 2 cubed. That's minus 8. And this is going to be minus 3 squared. That's 9 minus 8 is 1. It's true. So we found another set. So what we have now would be these two things we've just written, which are confirmed by these two we got here, plus this one. So we say that solutions are 0, 1. Solutions x, y, 0, 1, 1, 0, and what's the next one? x is minus 3, and y is minus 2. I'm wondering, can we switch? It doesn't look like we can switch here. I was wondering if we could switch when x is minus 2, and this is minus 3. No, it doesn't work. Yeah. Is there another solution? Well, based on what I have seen here, I don't think there's any other solution that can be generated. I'm done. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.